What is the master of the universe? In Buddhism, the master of the universe is called Buddha, while it is called God in Christianity. In Korea, that is originally of the Hanol-nim ideology, it is called Hanol-nim. In any case, this existence, the master of the universe, must be omnipotent and omniscient, the creator and the existence of truth. The existence that remains when you eliminate all creations from the universe is the origin of all creation. This existence is the master, the creator, and the original form and shape of the true existence. This existence has a body and mind. Thus, the bodies and minds of all creation are representations of this existence. The body and mind of this existence is called Dharmakaya and Sambhokakaya, Holy Spirit and Holy Father, and also Cheng and Shin. This existence is a metaphysical, real existence. It is the living truth, and it is the omnipotent and omniscient existence itself. This existence is the mother and father of all things, the origin, the source, and the master. This existence existed before the beginning of all things, and it will exist after the end. It is a complete existence that exists of and by itself. This existence exists everywhere in the universe, regardless of time and space, and all creations were created by this existence. Man cannot see this existence because it is not material. It can only be known when his mind, his consciousness, returns to it by destroying all of his conceptions and habits. While living in the world, we are able to distinguish between what is true and false to the extent of what we have in our minds. In the same way, this existence must be inside one's mind in order to know it. Thus, when one destroys the world of his conceptions, he is able to know this existence that is true, for it then exists inside his mind. This existence is truth that is eternal, never-changing, and alive. Even when all creations in the universe disappear, this existence exists as it is. It is not material. It is a metaphysical, real existence. The only truth is this existence, and there is no way to live other than to be reborn as this existence. When you are resurrected after becoming one with this existence, you will live in the land of this existence as an immortal. The origin of all things is the place where all things have been eliminated from the universe, and all things that exist are also this existence itself. It is this soul and spirit that lives forever. Therefore, man will be able to live forever if he is reborn as the body and mind of this existence itself.